Welcome to the Lights, Camera, Rant Podcast. Your source for the latest on movies, TV shows, and video games. Get ready for ranting, raving, and reviewing. Here is your host, Lee. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Lights, Camera, Rant. And this particular episode is episode 13. So I thought I would do something a little bit different this time around for 13th, Friday 13th. I thought I'd do all horror-related on this episode. Um, I will still talk a little bit about Marvel, but the majority of this is going to be one about horror. Um, but I have a wonderful guest who's a lot more into horror I am because I get shit scared and... It's not my favorite genre. <laughs> um, I would like to introduce my sister, Courtney. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, Courtney has been gracious enough to join me on the episode because horror is like her um, number one genre that she enjoys. And I thought that there's no better person to ask and do this episode because um, she's watched a shit ton more than I have. So I thought this would be a lot of fun. Looking forward uh, to it. <laughs> oh, I, I appreciate Not you sure coming. how much I know, but sure, let's do this. <laughs> That's all right. You'll still know more than me. Um, so, Corinne, why don't you introduce yourself? And uh, same thing I've done with Maddie, Perry, Dean, Mark. Um, what, what's your, like, top five movies of all time that you can watch? Or, like, what's your top five horror movies? Ooh. Um, okay, so top five movies that I could probably watch over and over and over again would be Scream, one, two, and three. What was four, wrong with four? Four was probably my least favourite. Um, I, I liked how they tried to reboot it a little bit, but the first three were, I mean, I'm old school. So <laughs> the first three are my, are my jam. Um, I would probably then shift the genre a little bit and go to Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet I, Home anytime Alabama? That, anytime. I'm a hopeless romantic. So anytime that is on the TV, I'm all over it. So like no book? Um, oh, no. Look, yeah. The notebook was great <laughs> and I cried a lot at the end. But... That was sad. That was sad that, romance. That wasn't, you know, happy ending romance. No, and I've said the same thing to Mary. I'm like, that whole, Mary hasn't seen it, but I've said to her, the whole movie is sad. There is no one bit of, like, either laughter or, like, oh, that's really, no, it's just sad. And it's got the best scene in it of a, how you explain a couple of when, uh, what's the name, asking, oh, I've got a name, what does she want? And she's like, it's not that simple. And I'm like, what do you want? I, I like love that. when you see that meme for like when it talks about what does a girl want for dinner. Yeah, that's it. And that, that that thing pops up saying, "But what do you want?" You want? I I <laughs> sh- I send that to Maddie and I'm like that's that's exactly it. it's so true. Yes, I would probably <laughs> also pick. I really like how to be single. Not no. necessarily saying because I want to be single, but. More no. or less. Well, I married like, with two kids. <laughs> more or less because I like the message that it portrays. You know, just about being, I, bet. I don't know, like trying to do things on your own and not relying on somebody else. and Be a strong, you know, independent woman that needs no man. Exactly. <laughs> Power, you know. Woman empowerment. Exactly. Um, and I don't know, I had another one, but I can't think of what it is. If I had to say top five horror movies, though. Yeah. Like, so you got screen of one. I am. Like. No, I know you're significantly I'm... older than me. <laughs> Rough. But, <laughs> you know, I was around, you know, horror movies started to make a really big comeback when, like, in the late 90s and the early 2000s. And so that's when Scream came out and I know what you did last summer and the fact that I still know what you did. I still know what you did last summer. I think you, I think you played the faculty. Is that the one where like it's a high school? Yeah. Yeah. I think you played that 
for some reason, and I think that gave me nightmares for. Yeah. So just as a, just as a clarify, Corny would use to make me go. Bring she, uh, I was a lot younger. She would watch these movies and she'd bring me in to watch them, and I don't know why, because the fact that it would leave me with nightmares. I just wanted to share the experience with you, you know. And They're I actually horrific can't wait experience. to. <laughs> can't wait to actually share it with the girls either. Like, is nine too young to introduce them to movies like that? There's probably a lot of people listening to this right now going, yes. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, so you got uh, Scream. I know what you did last summer. The Faculty. Urban Legend. Ah, I haven't seen that one. That's a good one. That's when um, Joshua Jackson who was also in Dawson's Creek at the time, decided to bleach his hair blonde. Wasn't a good look, but. um, Oh, and Halloween H2O also came out, which I'm assuming is like the black sheep of the Halloween franchise because one of the Halloween movies came out a few years ago and they don't mention they don't talk about anything to do with it at all. They don't, in this new one, it talks about how she has a daughter and a granddaughter and not about how she has a son or was a teacher at a school. So obviously I think the people are trying to forget that one. Uh, well, it, it, it's actually quite funny you say that because I was, I was doing some research and uh, horror because I've got one here. I've got a whole list of here of like top horror franchises of all the time. And like when they start and how many movies each one is, I didn't yeah. realize that Halloween. Um, would you believe it? The Halloween, actually, out of all the main horror franchises, is the one that has the most installments, and um, as well as has a very com- convoluted, convoluted, there, yeah, convoluted, um, like connecting universe, like almost worse. Then, well, not well, but the MCU is and worse. But like, from what each movie connects, how each movie connects to one, and how people brought out one but didn't want to connect it to the previous one. And yeah, it's funny that you say all that because I didn't realize how convoluted the whole Halloween storyline is. Yeah, but um, I mean, like Halloween is just one of so many of, like, those 80s movies, those 80s horror movies that, you know, spawned so many, like, sequels. Uh, You've also got Friday the 13th. Yes, you do. So You have A Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes. Out of Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Halloween, which one came first? Which one do you think came first? I want to say Friday the 13th. I don't, I'm probably wrong. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's all right. Friday the 13th is actually second. Halloween came out first. Okay. Halloween is 1978. It's a long time ago. Yeah, it is. 1978 for Halloween, 1980 for Friday the 13th, and 1984 for Nightmare. Yeah, I mean, a Nightmare on Elm Street, there was like, there was heaps of them. Yeah, so there's Friday the 13th, there's actually 11 movies. Wow. Nightmare is eight. Halloween is 12. Okay. Well, sorry, I, I lie, sorry. Halloween is 11, but there's another installment coming out next year, which will make it 12. Yep, yep. Um, but... Yeah, there's like I didn't realize there was actually that many installments. I do know, I do remember the fact that they did H two O, that one that was directed by Rob Zombie. You're testing me there. I really don't know. Yeah, that's didn't I... the only writer slash director slash producer that I really knew of back then was Kevin Williamson, because he did Scream, which he also did with Red Craven. He did I Know What You Did Last Summer. And he also did Dawson's Creek. That is a, that is a very weird, um, it's a very weird uh, resume. Yeah. 
Um, I totally forgot about it. I know what you did last summer. Like, did they? They? I think they only made two of those because I guess you can't really make a third. It's like, I still still know what you did last. They summer. did only make well. They Kevin Williamson only made two, um, but there was one or two more after that. Oh, they that did. I, I did sit through, which was was a garbage. Was time I will not get back, but <laughs> I just wanted to see where they went with it. Of course, uh, and was it like same thing? Same thing as majority of movies right now. Like it's not as good as the original. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, it's funny how like uh, with going back to Wes Craven, he he's a, he did Scream. He did Scream, he did Nightmare, and I'm 85% sure he also did, it wasn't Poltergeist. What was it? No, it wasn't Poltergeist. Ah. I think it Hills Have Eyes. Oh, it could have been. I think, I think that was, that's the other one to his um, horrific resume. Maybe we should have done a little bit more research about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. I, I do. I have a whole page of notes here. I just didn't have – I didn't have all about movies. I don't have about directors. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so what was, your, what was your fifth movie? Oh, your fifth movie was – yeah, that's right. Um, so what – the next question is, like, what got you more into horror than, like – like, yeah, what drew you to horror? I remember, I think one of the first horror movies I ever saw was at a sleepover when I was in year seven and it was Scream and I just became completely hooked. I loved how they, you know, talked about actual horror movies in it and the rules of horror movies and they – they sort of poked fun at themselves like it wasn't a serious movie. Yeah. Which I guess took the scary out of it slightly for me, but still, I mean, I was terrified. And then I just, I guess I just, I don't know, I like that feeling. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but I probably like that feeling of being scared and being so engrossed in the movie that you just have to know what's going to happen next. The rush. But then once... Once the movie finishes, like, it's not scary anymore, you know? Oh, no. Like, you know it's not real. (laughs) Especially if you watch Nightmare on Elm Street, then, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't go to sleep. (laughs) Um, Yeah, because with with Scream, because the very first one, because, yeah, that was late 90s, the very first one that came out. Actually, uh, Scream came out, the very first one came out in 1996. Yep. Um, and then I think uh, number two was like 2001 and then um, the third one was 2003 and then we got the reboot one in 20, uh, I think 2014 and 2015 we got Scream 4 and now Scream 5 is going to come out uh, next year. Yes. Um, so what's going to be interesting about like how with Scream 5 is like how um, – How's that going to work when the fact that, um, like, obviously the whole thing with Scream is the fact that they're breaking the rules and then Scream 4 still did that. But, like, how is Scream 5 going to break the rules again? Honestly, I, I'm not even sure where they're going with this one. Like, this poor woman in it has so many people in her life that are trying to kill her. I know. <laughs> like, I know. It's really rough. Like, she's just wronged so many people without even meaning to. Um, yeah, like, it had to be you, Sydney. Yeah. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even really sure on the plot of it. Like, I've only sort of followed when it's actually coming out because yeah. for me it doesn't really matter what the plot is. I'm going to watch it anyway. So yeah, you watch it. I'll come with you. Well, as far I think the, what I read about it was the fact that they kept it, the script very um, close to the chest. They're really trying to um, make sure you know it's still a surprise when it comes out, which is I, hard to do these days. 
Yes. And I do know there was a little bit of reluctancy to even do it based on the fact that Wes Craven had passed away and, you know, they were sort of his little babies. So there was a little bit of talk about whether or not they should or shouldn't um, do another one. Yeah, well, they're going to, yeah, that's, that's, well, that's the thing is like, it's a sad thing. Is like, do you, do you meddle? Do you meddle with something like this without the original creator, or do you do you keep going to keep his legacy alive? Exactly. Um, that's that's where you bridge that line. Um, but yeah, because when the first screen came out, because it was was it so a don't split up. Um, no, so it was like don't go upstairs. Never yeah, go don't upstairs. go upstairs. Um. Never say I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, what's that? Um, obviously, don't go and try and fornicate in another room. Oh yeah, don't don't have sex because if you have sex, you're dead. Yep. Um, which it's. It, yeah. I think because I've watched so many horror movies over the years, and. It's like you can watch one and you already know which character is going to get it. You already know once they do something, you're like, okay, that's it. You're gone. Yeah. Especially if you were like the foreign kid, you're gone. In those early, yeah. yeah, In the early movies, not now, not now, but early movies, if you were the foreign kid or if you're different, you're gone. Mm -hmm. Uh, The last, the last horror movie I went to go see, which I don't know why I did this. I went and saw it. Yes. Um, and I was, dra- I think it dragged, but Dean and Mark were like, yeah, do you want to go see it? I was like, stupidly enough, agreed. And I'm like, hmm. That halfway through, I'm like, this was a bad idea. This is, hmm, nah, nope. <laughs> um, but that was, that was a good, from what I remember of it, that was a good, um, good remake. Um, definitely, definitely not big on clowns. <laughs> I remember watching the ori- original with, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Tim Curry. Tim Curry. That, so, yep. He was yep. Pennywise. Yeah. And I remember, I don't know, like I remember being scared. Like the concept of it was quite scary. But then as an adult and as a mother, going to watch it and that, you know, first initial scene where firstly that kid is playing in the street, secondly it's raining, and then thirdly he's talking to a clown in the drain. And I'm standing there thinking, what kid does this? Like, (laughs) I I don't know, like my the the mother in me just kicked in and I'm like, this is completely unacceptable. Um, So then, of course, you know, I had to have a talk with my daughter about not talking to strangers in a drain. <laughs> or, yeah, especially if it's raining. And the funny, you know what the most funny yeah. thing is that you just said all about that is that your kid going outside, um, we're in lockdown. Yes, sorry, everyone who's listening, <laughs> we're still in lockdown in our wonderful state of Victoria and most likely we'll still be in lockdown for another month. So those movie reviews... Um, I was talking about, yeah, they're definitely, yeah, they're definitely on hold. And now I'm really worried about Shang-Chi when that comes out. <laughs> Not to go off topic, but oh, it's just shit. It's hard. Uh, no, I don't know. But we'll get through it. So, yeah, so we're still doing this in lockdown. Um, but, yeah, because they, and they made It too. Did you go see It too? I watched it at home. I didn't go to the cinema for that one. I didn't get a chance. Um, I also, I, I enjoyed that too. It was good. I only go for like three hours. Like, isn't it a long, long well, horror movie? Well, see, the original, which I'm pretty sure is also a two-parter, was actually more of a telly movie. Like, it never came out. I don't think it came out at the cinema. I think it was more of a TV, made-for-TV no, you- movie. You're correct. It was yeah. It was a TV movie. It was broken into two parts. Yeah. So I don't think that um, when they 
remade it they necessarily like obviously it's been years since I saw it but I don't think that they differed all that much from the original I'm sure somebody who has seen it and you know remembers it better than what I do vividly but I I remember reading that the guy who plays it he wants to do a third film um but he wants to do a prequel they want to do like um you know more of his backstory and how he became yeah it um uh, another trivia fact is that he, so he, his father. I think I can answer this one. Yeah. Go. Is his father the guy out of Thor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sar- um, Skarsgård. Yeah, or... that's correct. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's correct. So. His father, that's there, uh, is in those Thor, uh, Thor movies and Avengers. Um, that's in the you know, the whole family, are all actors, as well as there's another brother who, who played was in True Blood. True Blood and Tarzan. Yes, with, that's correct. With Margot Robbie. Yes, we were actually talking about this the other night because my eldest decided to pick the Friday night movie, and she picked the Avengers. That's a great choice. See, that's so. She's a great niece. I actually, I actually um, told that little bit of trivia to them myself. Did they, did, did did they all care? Did, they, did the family thought that was cool? Yeah, they think I know too much about boring stuff. Uh, but anyway, no, I, I get that. Um, usually when I say to Maddie now, I was like, oh, would you like to know a fact? And she's like, no, no, I don't want to know a fact. I just want to watch the movie. <laughs> don't want to... I'm like, but it's good to know. And she's like. Facts are fun. Yeah, exactly right. Um, but, yeah, that, that whole family is all, all, all into movies. Um, actually, it's funny, actually, if you um, – so – it and you were just mentioning before you also seen the conjuring the latest conjuring movie yes so i watched that probably a few weeks ago that was the devil made me do it mm-hmm. i think there's like there's a few in that series as well and they all yeah. link together so there's like you know a few conjuring and then the annabelle annabelle sorry um movies yeah, also the, linked the, in the doll and then there's another one called the nun yeah and it's all about this couple like basically that i have reason to believe in the 70s or 80s like they're loosely based on a true story yeah because i remember the trailer for the last one was they were pushing the fact that you know, something happened this year, this is loosely, you know, this is based on a true story, find out what happened. Yeah, so I know that the wife in the story has certain abilities, you know, to see things, to feel things when she touches things or she's in a certain place. Um, And they seem to do a lot of exorcisms on people and, so yeah that that was actually like it had been a while since a decent horror had come out that or thriller so i quite enjoyed those ones yeah um i that's the most latest i think latest horror movie i've seen that's come out of late um with everything getting pushed back at this stage it's pretty much at the, it's pretty much right now that it's not if it's not a really big movie, um, it's just going to be it pops out of nowhere if it comes out really because ne- straight to Netflix, di- straight to Netflix, straight to streaming, Disney, um, Paramount, HBO Max. I really wish we had HBO Max here, um, but yeah, that's yeah, that's all connected. What's um, did you ever watch? Now I went and saw this in the movies as well. Um, which I just wanted, because you were talking about how a good thriller, first paranormal activity. Yes. So 
little while ago, like a few years ago now actually, um, mum and I actually sat down and went through all the paranormal activities. Really? And see, that was, yeah, that was quite good when the first couple came out. But I do remember there was one that just took forever, like forever to get anywhere. If I have to watch one more scene of them flicking to their security camera of the pool doing nothing, like you're just wasting my time. There's actually the first one came out in 2007 and there's six of those. There's six of those like, movies. I feel like over the years people, I don't know, they're just not original anymore. Like, like I was saying, you know, my love for horror movies started when I was, you know, in high school and that was just when they decided to redo everything. Yeah. So everything that came out in the 70s and 80s, they then decided to redo again. So they did a remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They did yeah. a remake of Friday the 13th. Yeah, it came and in 2009. They did a remake of... Well, there was rem- also... Sorry, you go. No, that's all right. They did a remake of No Man Elm Street. I watched that and I thought, nah, this is, no, I didn't like that. Well, they also decided to merge the two. You know, you've got Freddy versus Jason. Yeah, surprising they only did one of those movies. And that one I've actually seen. Um, they were going to, I mean, when they, I was reading ages and ages ago, they were going to make a second one. Um, there's always rumblings about making a second one. I'm just surprised they haven't actually pulled the trigger on it. And they were either looking at Ash or Mike Myers and they get a three-way fight. Wow. Um, I didn't – the Friday the 13th ones were not – like I watched them, but they were not – They the concept of it was not my favourite. I I liked the concept of it being at a summer camp. I thought that was really, you know – freaky but the idea that I don't know he was he died he died as a boy but then somehow he was a grown man going around killing people like I the original one the original one it's not Jason you know that right I do know that yeah it's it's his um it's his mother it is his mother um, Voorhees. Yeah, actually, another trivia spoiler fact. Alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, always, I always say on my podcast, like, I don't give a shit. It's always spoilers. Um, I forgot to say that. Trivia fact about Halloween is the fact that, you know, the mask. Yes. Yeah, you know, that, uh, that Mike Myers wears. You know, that's actually an in inside out mask of Captain Kirk from Star Trek. Really? I did not know that. Yeah, so they just that's what they bought originally. And, yeah, they turned it inside out. And, they're like, in the first movie, you know, obviously it changed over a period of time. But, yeah, it, that's that's what the mask is. Wow. Yeah. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, the Friday 13th, yeah, there's 11. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's Friday 13th, 11 movies of that. And it's it's very similar thing all the way through. They did. They did release that video game um, a few years ago, yes. which I made you play. That was a lot which, of fun. You mean which I made you play, and I just watched. Yes, that's correct. I played. <laughs> anyway, that was a lot of fun. The most creepy thing about that was when you you're walking around and the music would kick in. You just like shit, 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 shit. <laughs> He's coming. Uh, yeah, but there was. I forgot to actually tell you. There was, and I, th- I can't remember if I did or not, there was one I really did want you to play that I thought you would like, and it was it was called High School Something. It's only currently on Steam at the moment, so it's only for computer, but it was heavily based on those 90s and early 2000s horror movies. So it's based in a high school, uh, and, yeah, one person plays as the killer. That's... I like the sound of that. I think I could make time to play that. Uh, I thought I thought you would, but <laughs> yes, but yeah. So it was the same concept as the Friday Thirteenth game, 
but yeah, it was all heavily based on nineties and yeah, it was based on high school. So you'd have to try and either kill the killer or yeah, try and get out. Um, yeah. Which is, uh, um, I th- yeah, I, I never actually came out on PlayStation, which I was annoyed about, but hopefully with the, uh, you don't know what the steam deck is, but, Real quick, Steam Deck is is going to be something like the Switch that's going to come out like a portable device which allows you to play any computer game on the go. Oh, that sounds cool. Um, yeah, that's... Um, so anything that comes out on the computer, you can play and it plugs in and works like the Switch. Oh. Well, like considering a... we've just got a Switch... You're not going to need that. No. no, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I, I'm surprised. Actually, 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 not surprised because the reason they haven't actually made another Friday Thirteenth is because uh, there's been a, like a whole legal battle between the rights or whoever owns the rights, like creator wise, for it. There's been a lot of back and forth because um, that's what's delayed. Also, the video game having any more like downloadable content or extra maps or extra something else to add to the game because it's all been put in a hole because of this legal battle. I think um, everyone these days wants to ride on the coattails of somebody else, you know what I mean? Yes. Oh, you know, I, I wrote this, this little part of this section. I want my piece of the pie of it. Like yeah. there's not the, not the same vein. Like I do believe they deserve it. Um, is the same thing with um, DC and Marvel at this stage where um, uh, people are saying that the original creators or the comics aren't getting enough kickback because all these movies are making all this money. Um, like the original people who wrote these characters aren't getting enough like credit or um, yeah, enough royalties. Sorry, that's where I was looking for royalties. Um, which I think is like they should, I do believe they should get all the royalties for it, but just don't make it a public display that you're disgruntled about it. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like you're each, each to their own, but each to their own, but you're coming out now because that's a billion dollar franchise. Yeah. Like if the movie hadn't have made so much money or if it had have flopped, you probably wouldn't have cared so much. No, you wouldn't have said anything. You would have you you would have just been like, oh, I'll I'll take my coin. But now, because it makes so much money, you're piping up, yeah. um, which that happens, you know, which does happen. Um, but yeah, I actually flipped back because we went over the two four. That first paranormal activity, I went and saw that at the movies, and that scared the shit out of me because I'm a wimp. Yes, you are. <laughs> Um, that's, yeah, that first one, but that was a lot like that first one. I was like, nothing really happens or bits and pieces happen for like three quarters of the movie. It's only like the last 15 minutes. You're like, shit. Everything else is just rumblings in the night or the blanket moves or this move. I I guess that's the writer's way of trying to build the suspense. Um, but I feel like you know, don't try to build it too much. Like, <laughs> at no. least let something happen. Yeah, don't, you know, something happens in between. Um, another, okay, these two, now these two other horror movies um, or ha- horror franchises, if you were still putting, if they, if they are just horror or just gore fests, um, Saw and Final Destination. Ooh, so... Saw, I didn't watch all of the Saws. Um, I watched a few. I liked the, I really, I guess I really enjoyed the concept of it because it was a new, it was something new, something that hadn't been done before. Um, But they were pretty gory. Yeah. Final Destination, uh, I think... For anyone my age, there is always going to be that scene in the second one where 
they are driving what? behind that truck. The logs. With all the logs on the Oh, uh, yeah. Map. I've seen I've seen that scene and I'm saying I I haven't watched that entire movie, but just that scene alone has also made me nervous every time I see a whole bunch of logs and like, mm, nah, changing lanes. Yeah, like it you'll be driving on the freeway or something, or you know, when we're driving away on holidays and the minute you end up behind one of those things, you're like you automatically your brain sort of goes, Okay, is this how I die? This is how I die today. Yeah, like, this is it. <laughs> right here, right now. So yeah, though, those yeah, I think I think I remember seeing you watch Final Destination and I'm just like, oh, what's this? Oh, there, yeah, there they are. They're all destined to die and they move their death. I'm like, oh, next thing, nail gun, logs falling over, or oh, is it one of them gets stuck in an escalator? Yeah, that was. Um, I don't know if that was the second one though, but I do, I do remember that. Oh. But it really she... sort of like that whole things happen for a reason, you know, like especially in the first one because I rewatched the first one not long ago. That that whole, you know, you were meant, like they were meant to die. And yeah, then you're because meant to... they didn't, all these other things had to come into place for them to die. It's just, yeah. yeah. It's like because you cheated death, it's getting much more worse now. Yeah, which uh, which you see by every single movie that comes out. Actually, that, that's funny. That's actually another franchise that I'm surprised they haven't pumped out a reboot for that. Oh, look, I'm sure they will. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Did, did you watch? So there was a new trilogy of movies that was just released on Netflix last month. Yeah. Which I really enjoyed. And that was the Fear Street trilogy. Yeah. So Is the, that is it is the actually, logo like on a like a VHS tape? Yes. So it's actually they released all three of them in the month of July. Um one every week. Now the Fear mm-hmm. Street is actually based on an R. L. Stein book. But oh. obviously the R.L. Stein book is not rated R. And no. these which, movies which, were. If you watch that old Goosebumps TV show, you're like, it's on the verge of nightmares. and But no, it's for kids. Yeah. <laughs> they were good. They were. That was a good TV series. Um, oh, it was creepy. I all still remember that scene where the guy walks up with the briefcase. Walking over the yes. top of the hill, and then it opens up, and then the music kicks in. It's like, yeah, doo, 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 doo. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the Fear Street they were they were very gory, um, but they all linked in really well. Like you were definitely hanging for the next one to know where it was going. Yeah. Like there wasn't a moment they weren't three individual movies. They were. Um, they started off where the first one was like in the 1980s and then the second one was actually at a summer camp. So that was really cool. Actually, sorry. Yeah, the first one was in the 80s. The second one was at a summer camp and then the third one was how it all started. But The third one went for like two hours because it was the whole story of how it all started and then it was the story of how it ended, like, ah. back in the 80s. So. Because I, I, cause like I've seen, yeah, I've seen, like, the promo art and I've seen bits and pieces come up on the TikTok. Because um, um, I don't know why. The really thing I find annoying with TikTok is, like, if you watch one particular video, it starts kind of in your main feed. And because I watched a scene from that, I'm pretty sure I watched a scene from that that was gory. Now, like, if I scroll through my feed, I sometimes get, like, all horror flicks. I'm like, no, yeah. no, I don't want more horror flicks <laughs> in my TikTok. I think everyone does. No. But they were good. You recommend them? I do. I, I think they were really good. I think, you know, um, with all the conjuring and all that that have been out, you know, over the last few years, um, they're more of a supernatural vibe. 
these yeah. these are just it's just gore. It's just people stabbing people. Like it's you know, we haven't seen I don't think I've seen gore for well not decent gore anyway for a while. So I like that. There's multiple different levels of gore and I haven't seen decent gore in a while. Oh uh, look, there <laughs> are, you know, over a hundred horror or thriller movies on the streaming platforms, you know. Yeah. But doesn't mean they're all good. So <laughs> No. Did you watch I one that just popped in my mind? Um is it Die Happy? That that's uh, it's like Groundhog Day, and she has to find a killer. Oh yes, that was a good one. That was you know, um, Happy Death Day, and that Happy had Death Day to, that had a sequel too. They were they were good. Because I remember seeing the trailer thought, for that, and I thought that is a horrible Groundhog Day. That's um, her, your day restarts every time you die. Fuck, yep. just fruit that. <laughs> Oh, but she just took it in her stride. She knew what she had to do. And she just kept attempting it until she succeeded. So good on her. Yeah. Well, uh, Especially when you it. know how your day is going to end every day. That's, yeah, that's very true. Um, you can do whatever you want. And so I'm just going to die at the end of it anyway. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah, I, that just popped in my head because um, I saw Groundhog Day come kind of on Netflix the other day. And I was like, isn't there a horror movie? Isn't there a horror, horror movie version of that? Um, but no, that's that's good. You recommend that also. Uh, another one, TV show, American Horror Story, because that yes. that's gained a lot of momentum. That's had a, that's I think it's up to its sixth season now. Um, which um, yeah, it's got a lot. And there's a lot been a lot of famous people that come in that show. Lady Gaga for some reason, but you know why not? You know what? She was actually fantastic in it. Yeah. I was a little bit hesitant, but she was amazing. She held her own. She did really good. Because mm. she was in season five, four. Five, that was the one about the hotel. Ah, uh, yeah, hotel. I think hotel is the one I think I stopped watching because I watched season one. I was what. The house, the murder house. Second one, yeah. which was the the witches. The third one, which was the carnival, which was the most effed up. I think the carnival one was the most effed one. Was the fourth one the asylum? Yeah, they were in the same asylum, and was aliens at the end of it? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Like I said to you, I I stopped watching when they decided to make one about Donald Trump winning his presidency and that kind of lost my interest. Um, There was another one where they put all of these people into a house, kind of like a big brother thing. Yeah. That was a good one. I enjoyed that. I don't know which one that was. But when the first first series came out, um, I, I, yeah, I watched that and I thought this is – it was done differently as a horror TV show. Like it did very well. Like those first seasons are all horrific. But the fact is that they're not doing – you know, they're not doing the same thing. Like every season has its yeah, own yeah. own thing. And only, you know, bits and pieces here and, here and there are actually all connected, um, which I know it's the same thing you with – same thing like the Pixar theory. Uh, they're all connected. Yeah. There was also one at the summer camp. I think I watched some of that too. I just didn't quite finish it. No. Uh, actually, there was too. I think I think there was because I think it was heavily inspired by the Friday the 13th because I remember yeah. all the promo art having like having that vibe. Yeah, yeah. Um. Do you uh, another trivia fact that we'll tell you while we're talking is the fact that would you Alice Cooper um, has both connections to the Friday Thirteenth and Nightmare on Elm Street? Really, I did not yes. know that. Yes, uh, Alice Cooper played. Ironically, he played Freddy's father. I think in the <laughs> ninth ninth Friday Thirteenth movie, uh, an Thank abusive. You. Uh, sorry, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, I know. Sorry, <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street, the ninth one, he plays the father, the abusive father, 
on Freddie. And yeah. and for Friday third Friday the thirteenth, I think uh, when Jason goes to Manhattan, um, Alice Cooper created a song called He's Back, which was like the tune for the movie. Well, there you go. Yeah, full of absolutely useless facts. <laughs> absolutely. I blame uh, her for that. Why? Because she is also the same. She is also filled with useless facts about TV and movie knowledge. That's, that's yes, she does. Yes, we are just carrying it on from generation to generation. Yeah, useless facts that you think you never wanted to know until now. Mm-hmm. Um, you also going on is that didn't you still talk like going back to like video games? Didn't you play Silent Hill? I did play Silent Hill on PlayStation. Yeah. But I'll be honest, it actually scared me a little. So I didn't I didn't play it that much. <laughs> it's different it's different playing a video game, isn't it? Um I guess you know, video games weren't really my thing. Like I played a few of them and I had my favorites, but you know, movies were more of my thing. So it was easy for me to watch a movie and still is because I can pretty much predict what's going to happen now. You know, yeah. the minute the music starts building or um, anything like that, you know that something's going to happen. Yeah. And like I said, you can generally pick who's going to live and who's going to die. And you can also pick halfway through who the killer is going to be. Anyway, yeah. video games, I, I can't, pre- you can't predict anything. I don't know. Nope. You know, and there was so much fog in that movie and you're walking yeah. around. Is it a hospital? Actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, or an, 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 an asylum? It's a asylum because I, st- I, can't, I can't remember. It's, it's uh, I, this memory. I don't know why it's stuck in my head. But you're playing Silent Hill and I'm pretty sure it was Silent And you're walking down this main road and it's all foggy. Yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly something comes smashing out of this from glass um, and scares a share, yeah? Um, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm 85% sure. And if, if I am wrong, someone's going to correct me, but that video game, um, the reason why they have fog, they use the fog because they couldn't like, they use the fog to make it more scary because the map would, you'd only go so far and it would generate. So the fact they used the fog to hide the fact that the map wasn't fully there. Ah, oh, okay. So, wow. you know, the further you go, the further it generates, but you wouldn't see because of the fog. Yeah. Either way, it definitely added an extra element to that game yeah. that made me not want to play it. No, no, that I completely understand. Did you play another one that was like, yeah, you were like a ghost hunter? Well, I'm thinking something else. It was like you I'm had not to sure go, about that one. You had to go play ghost, but yeah, I remember. Definitely remember Silent Hill. That's a ugh, no, no, thank you. I haven't, I haven't played Silent Hill. I haven't played uh, Resident Evil. Um, not to mention Resident Evil. There, I think it's number six or seven. You can use the VR headset oh, no to thanks. play it. And I remember saying to Dean, I was like, "That is a stupid idea." And I, nope, there's no way you catch me playing it like that. <laughs> um. Fuck that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, so, so obviously more movie, less video game because you don't know. You actually have to do things in the video game which will make you more, more scared. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, is there any other, any other horror movies that come to mind or ones you're looking forward to? I said, like, I know the fact that they're making a, uh, Halloween comes out. Um, Halloween, I think it's the third one in this new trilogy with Jamie Lee Curtis, comes out next year. Um, I know they're thinking about moving forward with another Friday 13th. Um, I'm trying to think of something else that scares the shit out of me. No, that's that's all comes to mind. Um, but yeah, is there any other ones that you know are coming out or you're looking forward to? Oh, it's obviously Scream 5. Yes. Which I will come with you to go see Scream 5. <laughs> I am um, basically, I think anything by over the last, uh, 
say maybe five years or so, anything by the company Bloomhouse, they, they've done pretty well for themselves. I'm pretty sure they have a part in The Conjuring um, movies. I'm pretty sure they have a part in this new Halloween. Isn't that the whole thing? Isn't that the whole thing is horror? Yeah, yeah, they've done some, they've done some pretty good ones. Yeah, because um, I remember, cause I remember seeing it's like yeah, Bloom House would bring out this because isn't they like House of Wax? Is that them? Yes, Paris Hilton. That was um, yeah, yeah that was that, that made was... it even scarier, really. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, she did all right. No, she did all right. Yeah. She dies in it, doesn't she? Probably. Uh, they all do, don't they? No, I think <laughs> somebody does get out. Yeah. Or one person has to always get out. Or who tells the story? Um, exactly. But yeah, uh, I think uh, I think we've covered probably the majority of all, all horror back and forth. Um, but uh, I really appreciate you being on this episode with me. I appreciate you doing with this. Uh, you know, I, I invite you to come on. I hope you come on more episodes to do this with me. Um, this was a lot of fun as well as, you know, I've got, you know, episode 666 is all going to be about metal, about male music. That's going to be a really fun episode. Uh, when what, I get up to that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've got plans, you know, and, and episode, I, you know, 666 is all going to be about, um, metal. So I've got plans all going through. So I really do hope you come on more episodes with me, um, because this was a lot of fun um, just it chatting was, with I've, you. I've enjoyed myself, but I may have to brush up on some um, <laughs> different movie knowledge maybe. Well, no, that's, that's all right, because no, no, next time we're going to have to talk about more Marvel stuff. Well, or DC. you want to have a full podcast about Baby Groot, then I'm happy to, but that's, that's, That's the totally... only one I've really got an opinion on. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally fine because the fact that um, end of this year, I don't know, end of this year or next year, we're going to get uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. That's all going to be about baby Groot and where Groot came from. Wow. I am looking forward to that one and happy to talk to you about that one. <laughs> all right. So I'll see, I'll see you in a year. Yeah. 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 Cool. <laughs> well, with these lockdowns, and us not being in our yeah. 5K probably will be a year. No. Uh, it's for, for anyone who wants to know, pretty much like my whole family um, is in a 5 to 8K radius. I'm the black sheep. I am the one who's 30Ks away from them. Um, so they still kind of like get to see each other, but I don't. <laughs> um, well, we're not supposed to. No, not supposed to. But you could if you wanted to. Mental health. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. So, and also, guys, as I as I always like to, please go check out my Instagram. Um, oh, so yeah, please go check out my Instagram with all about up, latest updates this episode, as well as if you want to know any merchandising. A uh, little quick thing is if you haven't, go watch the Star Trek Visions trailer. That looks fantastic. Very Japanese inspired. Um, Visually looks really good. Corny probably won't. You should go check it out. It looks really cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, thank I'll you for joining. You probably watch it. Good. I'll probably watch it. Good. Yeah. Any recommendation I say on this, you should take it up. But yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for joining this episode. And yeah, thank, thank you, Corny. Thank you for inviting and I, me, and thank you for asking me. I'm happy to anytime. I like it when people come on here. <laughs> Don't forget, you've got another sister too. I know, I know. She's on my next on my hit on my hit list. You know, I've got I've got the boys, I've got Maddie, I've got you. Now I just gotta think of a episode that me and Sheridan can talk about. Good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, thank you very much, Courtney. And until next time, guys. Thanks for listening to Light Camera Rant. If you like the show, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. While you're at it. Leave us a rating and review, and be sure to tell your friends. Until next time, happy ranting.